All right, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. I just scored a 3060 MSI Gaming X, and this is actually from a local, Alex. Thank you very much, man. Uh, he hooked me up with it. This is a Gen 1 or a, a initial launch RTX 3060, so this one can be used with a developer driver, what, 470.05, and it will do about... He was getting about 48, 49 mega hash. You can push them harder and get 50, but I like to run mine at around 48, 49, because they, they do that at a reasonable wattage. So these are awesome cards. They It does suck that you can't really use them in Hive and get the full 50 mega hash, but you can get about 40 out of them in Hive. I will be throwing this in my Windows machine so I can get all the, the hashes out of it. What's up, Simba? You like it? So I'm going to go pop this thing out, and um, as usual, I need to leave soon, so... This is probably not going to go smoothly because whenever I'm in a rush, like everything happens. So anyway, let's go. Let's go see what this thing looks like. All right. So she is a chonky boy. Looks like it takes an eight pin and a six pin. It's got a uh, metal back plate. So that's pretty cool. Let's get this thing fired up. By the way, I did pay five fifty for it. Just so if people are asking what kind of street prices I am buying and not buying for. Um, I don't buy regular 3060s, like newer 3060s for, you know, this range because they only, they're so much more limited, but I, I feel like with the first generation, they're, they're worth it. Um, you know, hash per dollar or whatever. All right, guys. So I have an Asus Tough. That's a first generation 3060 also. So it gets about 48 mega hash. Um, and then now I have another 3060. I have my monitors plugged into this one and I'm going to plug a dummy plug into this one. Because uh, you have to have a monitor or a dummy plug plugged into the display out to get that 48, 48, 49 mega hash. If not, then it'll do like the 20 something mega hash. Also, note that not all 3060s get this. It's only the first generation. So uh, if you get a new 3060, it will not work with that developer driver. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I plugged in that other 3060. It at first it didn't show up because it does like some crazy stuff trying to find the card and make sure it's all there. Anyway, the screens blink on and off, but now we should be good to go. Uh, it's still probably trying to do some stuff in the background, but we still are on the developer driver. And let's go ahead and fire up my. Where's my miner at? Let's fire up my miner and see what kind of hash rates we're gonna get. Also. I do need to fire up MSI Afterburner. So showing up two 3060s, that's a good sign. MSI Afterburner. So this one, let's see how my other one's running. Oh, they're both on 100%. That's because I, I guess maybe it wiped out my settings. They're linked together. I'm going to pull this bad boy down to about 80 right off the bat. You could probably crank them up to about 70, honestly. We'll put the fans on 75, and we'll bring that memory up to, let's try plus 710. I know they can do more than that, but let's just, uh, let's see where everything's going to end up happy at. All right, 41 mega hash right now. I'm going to do some more tuning. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got them doing about 48.9, and the other one's at 48.3. I have them at 129, basically 130 watts a piece, so not too bad on the efficiency there. Uh, ooh, that one clicked up to 49, so uh, I'm going to let these settings bed in for a little while. I have power at 76, core at negative 202, memory at plus 1251, and the fans at 80. We're running 44, 45 degrees Celsius, so uh, I might be able to push that memory a little bit more and pull that power back a little bit more. but. For right now, I'm just going to make sure she's stable. Oh, look at that. We're showing 49.1 and 48.7. Obviously, these cards, if you have one plugged into a monitor, whenever you're doing stuff on the monitor, like watching videos and stuff, you will lose a little bit of hash rate. But what I like to do is I'll just turn my monitors off and close anything out, uh, and then um, it'll keep your hash rate up. Now, some monitors, you have to keep one of them on for the card to read. I don't know why that is. But my monitors, I have a DisplayPort monitor and an HDMI monitor. I turn both of them off and my hash rate stays up. So just, you know, food for thought there. Um, but yeah, so there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Everything seems to be going smooth. Let me knock on some wood right here because normally when I'm in a rush and a hurry, uh, nothing ever goes to plan. So thank you again, Alex. Much appreciated, bro. And um, I, I'll, if you're watching this video, comment down below. I'll pin your comment. And uh, yeah, so... 
By the way, there are deals out there. He listed this online for, and I bought it for asking price. So there are reasonable sellers, few and far between, but they're out there. So anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all have a good one. Adios.